The launch of the first status report on equality and inclusion in Kenya. It is here that the National Gender and Equality Commission Chairperson Winfred Lichuma, speaking, said failure by the 11th Parliament to pass the two-thirds gender law leaves no option but legal action if the desired numbers are not achieved after the August 8th general elections. I would imagine that the national government, the county governments, the society at large, and all of us are members of society, we will look at what the data provides and carry the story forward because inequalities have never led to development of a country. <laughs> Elsewhere in Kajadu County, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta met thousands of women under the leadership of Maendeleo Yawanawake organization. The First Lady assured Kenyans that empowerment of women and youth remains the central priority in the Jubilee government's development agenda. Jubilee believes that the empowerment of women and youth is the only way to make meaningful progress in developing a community. And I have no apologies to make. Because we have an excellent president and we must support him. We need. Meanwhile, Deputy President's wife, Rachel Ruto, was in Chuka, the Rakanithi County, where she urged the electorate to pray for a peaceful electioneering process, especially in regions prone to ethnic violence. Mimi ningependa kuita kanisa. Huu uito wa kusema kwamba, you as the church of Taraka Nithi, you need to stand in the gap for our nation. Diploma in the ECD. God bless you, you can't be seated. And sweeping reforms in the education sector has ensured improved standards of education in KC region. This was revealed by KC County Education Board Chairman Henry Onderi at Nyantro SDE Teachers College, where he presided over a graduation ceremony. Uh, the, the kind of uh, education that is being offered in the country currently uh, is relevant in that uh, uh, the, car the current curriculum that is uh, under uh, the, I mean that is uh, undergoing piloting is aimed at um, imparting some skills uh, that are relevant to the industry. That's why the emphasis currently is on TIFET, and in which case, therefore, we are saying that uh, they are trying to fill in the skills gap. <laughs> Finally, a section of residents in Laikipi County are calling on the government to step in and resolve a brewing conflict whose genesis is the sharing of water from River Muyogo. The residents are accusing a farmer in the area of personalizing the scarce resource by diverting the river to his own farm. <laughs> Ruska Kuo for Channel 1 News Hour.